Welcome back to another episode of the VGC Professor Series. My name is Rosemary Kelly, and it's finally time to talk about dynamic speed. Speed is one of six components that make up a Pokemon's stats. As we discussed in episode two on move priority and episode three on end of turn resolution, speed is crucial as it dictates when a Pokemon will move during a turn and at the end of a turn. In case you haven't watched the previous episodes, a Pokemon's speed stat, if all moves have a move priority of zero, will dictate the order in which Pokemon move with a higher speed stat moving first and lower speed stats moving slower. At the end of a turn, Pokemon will also be affected by weather and other status effects based on the speed of a Pokemon. Faster Pokemon are affected first, unless the speed is reversed in Trick Room. Speed modifiers are crucial to understand in VGC. A speed modifier refers to something in the game that makes a Pokemon's speed faster or slower relative to its base stats. In this episode, we're going to go over all the different ways that speed modifiers can affect a Pokemon's speed. There are many ways to change a Pokemon's speed stat. Prior to Generation 8, speed modifiers did not go into effect until the start of the next turn. For example, if a Pokemon got paralyzed in a Generation 7 battle, the paralysis impact on the Pokemon's speed wouldn't occur until the next turn. In Generation 8, with dynamic speed introduction, speed modifiers such as paralysis will take effect immediately and change the move order mid-turn. Let's talk about the different speed modifiers that can exist in Pokemon and exactly what they do to a Pokemon's speed. A status move introduced in Generation 4, Tailwind is the most common support move to increase Pokemon's speed. Tailwind doubles the Pokemon's speed on the side of the field that it is used. Tailwind also can be a priority move with the Prankster or Gale Wings abilities, which increases the priority of Tailwind by one so that it typically is the fastest move on the field. If the Pokemon setting Tailwind moved before its partner, then the partner Pokemon will typically move next on the field, with the speed boost taking effect immediately. Tailwind is a great way to get Pokemon with average speed stats to move quickly to secure knockouts. Another way to increase and decrease speed stats is with max moves. Max Airstream increases the speed of the user and its partner by one stage, while Max Strike decreases the targeted Pokemon and its partner's speed by one stage. For one example on how it can be used, let's look at the pairing of Cinderace and Bisharp. Cinderace is a fast Pokemon, and paired with a slower Pokemon like Bisharp, Bisharp can use the fast max airstream boost to potentially move next on the field and help secure crucial knockouts, doubling into the targeted Pokemon. Porygon Z is another Pokemon that's really fast, but utilizes the normal type Max Strike to help its partner Pokemon move faster by lowering the speed of both opposing Pokemon so its partner can be faster. There are some damage moves that deal chip damage as well as slow down opposing Pokemon. Both Icy Wind and Electroweb are great for slowing down both opposing Pokemon because it drops the speed stat of both Pokemon by one stage. Regieleki is a good example of a good Electroweb user, with its high speed allowing to lower the opponent's Pokemon's speed so its partner can move first. All of the examples we've listed so far affect a whole side of a field, or both Pokemon on one side, but some moves are single target and only affect the targeted Pokemon. Thunder Wave is another way to slow down a single Pokemon's speed, but it's only 90% accurate. Specifically, Prankster Pokemon will use this move to target down a Pokemon early on in the turn and immediately reduce the targeted Pokemon's speed with Paralysis by 50% its normal speed. Nuzzle has a full chance of paralyzing an opposing Pokemon while also dealing damage, but there's no way to increase its priority, therefore being better utilized by faster Pokemon. Scary Face is one of the other ways to lower a Pokemon's speed, also a single target. Scary Face is rarely used in VGC, but it's seen some play on common prankster Pokemon like Grimmsnarl. Scary Face lowers the targeted Pokemon's speed by two stages instead of one, which slows down faster Pokemon substantially. It can also be used in Trick Room by Scary Facing your own Pokemon to slow it down so that it can move first. Trick Room is maybe the most impactful way to modify Pokemon's speed, as it affects the whole field. Trick Room, as you may remember, has a priority value of negative seven so it will be the last to be used during a turn regardless of a Pokemon's speed. Trick Room reverses the move order within each priority bracket so that Pokemon with a lower speed stat attack first, while those with a higher speed stat will attack last. This is a great way to allow slower Pokemon to shine and also reverse the order of Perish Song knockouts. 
That's it for this week's episode. Hope you learned something about how to modify a Pokemon's speed. And stay tuned for future VGC Professor Series episodes.